Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. My name is Emily and I post videos every Monday and Friday. In today's video, as you guys saw in the title, we are cleaning up from my daughter's fourth birthday party. We did a Frozen theme and I actually have three different party prep videos for the party, covering the food, the activities and games and prizes, as well as the decorations. So if you haven't checked out any of those or all of them, make sure to check those out after this video. As you guys can see, the aftermath of this party was, you know, pretty bad. <laughs> it, it got pretty messy and one of the activities in particular tracked in a lot of mess into the house. So our floors need a deep clean and there's just a lot to do. I'm actually going to be taking care of this all over the course of a few days because there was only so much I could do the night of the party and then some of the other stuff I wanted to save for later anyways and I'll explain that later on in this video but let's go ahead and jump into this. Said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us. So if you watched my activities video um, regarding the party prep, you saw that I made like a bunch of fake snow for the party and it consisted of baking soda and shaving cream mixed together. Well, I shared that I had the you know horrible idea of putting some ice water next to this in Aubrey's little activity station, thinking that the kids would just like rinse their hands when they're done and move on. But in like the first half an hour of me putting out the snow, Aubrey decided to pour like all the water into the snow mixture, which obviously turned it to like a white slush. And the kids had a blast playing with it, but obviously 
it didn't stay in the table. It got tracked in, it got on the floor, then people stepped in it and then came into the house for the food. And so my floor, like you really can't tell, the video doesn't do it justice, but it was like disgusting. <laughs> there was like this white stuff all over it and it just really needed a deep clean. So I was so excited to use my little like vacuum mop thing to clean the floors and we actually had to like rinse it out and refill it not even like I didn't even finish the kitchen before I had to clean this all out so it was it was that bad but midway through mopping the floors the power in our island which is where it was plugged in it actually went out and I didn't realize this and so we just thought that we had broke the machine because of how hard I guess we partied. <laughs> so I moved on to vacuuming the carpet and then we realized it was just like the power in the island went out. So Juan fixed that and then I got back to mopping the floors. <laughs> So I didn't finish the entire house because the kids were sleeping and I didn't really want to be super loud right outside their doors. So I kind of stopped mopping in the hallway and I will be taking care of kind of mopping the bathroom and like their bedroom hallway later on in this video. But I finished off the night by just vacuuming our couch particularly because like Aubrey would come in, put her feet up on the couch. And I know like those feet have been in that shaving cream, you know, mess. So I was just like, you know what? Now's a good time to vacuum the couch and just get it nice and clean after the party. And I won't feel like there's any little last tracks of dirt from the party in our living space. So it's a new day and I am surprised my body wasn't more sore than it already was. I fell asleep I think really quickly that night because my body was just super exhausted and like worn out from all the party prep, throwing the party, and then cleaning up after the party. But now we are moving on to getting stuff cleaned up outside, wiping down the tables that my sister lent us, and just kind of taking care of the aftermath of the party outside. But I know I got a lot to prove They think we're too damaged to fix But we're just working through a little rust They like to say we're just young But I know we won't give this up Sometimes I lose my mind And some days it's hard to find The reason why you stay by my side So what are we gonna do with that? Okay. That's what you want. So here you see the aftermath of the fake snow activity center. <laughs> 
It was horrendous. There was like this weird gross slush that was in this table and I just tried to collect as much as I could before rinsing it off so that it wouldn't get like all stuck in our little drainage system. So Aubrey was my helper. She did help try to clean this up with me and we ended up hosing this table off. Then we have this other like little kitchen set up outside as well and that got pretty messy. And I was gonna leave this for Juan to do but he totally lucked out because a little bit later this afternoon we had a flash flood warning and it poured. We literally had like a river going down our front yard and it actually washed off pretty well like the kitchen center and our like cement patio area. So Juan really lucked out from um, having to do too much outdoor cleaning. I mean, he still helped out, but he lucked out from having to clean up these two messes. So here it is actually the night before Aubrey's actual birthday. I did want to leave up our balloon arch just to kind of enjoy the, you know, final results of that work um, a little bit more than just like one day. And we were going to have some friends over, so I wanted them to kind of see the decorations like in person, especially since they couldn't make it for the party. So, you know, I kind of, I wanted to leave those balloons up as long as possible, but I figured the night before Aubrey's birthday would be the perfect time to take them down, kind of deflate quietly since people were sleeping, deflate a lot of the balloons that were like stuck to each other. And then I actually separated the balloons that were just individual balloons. And we're gonna attach them to Aubrey's door using the leftover blue and purple streamers from her party so that in the morning when she opens the door all of the balloons will like fall into her room and my hope was that it would just like she'd just be excited just to have tons of balloons to play with. My mom did this for me one time and I just like it just made me feel really special so I was so excited to like finally get to do this for my own daughter. Unfortunately though she really didn't like it. <laughs> I think probably the streamers kind of blocking her doorway in the morning made her feel like she couldn't leave her room or something. But anyway, she, she wasn't too happy about the setup. So she's given me permission to not do that again. And, you know, it was a lot of work. So I'm going to take her up on that. I may still try it with Jack sometime in the future. So, you know, maybe one of my kids will appreciate all of that work that I did. But for now, I think I'm off the hook and I'm okay with that.
Okay, so it is a new day and I decided on this day to like really kind of finish up a lot of the kitchen stuff. So we are taking down my DIY willow curly table skirt thing that I made. And I'm actually going to be trying to save this for some other party in case it fits the color scheme because it was a lot of work to make this. So I figured I would just try my best to save it and see if I can at least use it one more time. And we are also gonna be, you know, giving the floor underneath a good vacuum and mop, cleaning off our glass board design, which I was also really proud of, and cleaning our sliding glass door. Left So to finish off this video, we are going to be taking down the things that I needed a ladder for because our ladder somehow got like tucked way in the back of our garage and it was hard for me to get by myself. So I had to kind of wait until Juan could get that for me. So we're finally taking down the snowflakes and the balloon and the little banner and wrapping up this party cleanup video. I would really like to thank you guys for watching this video and supporting my channel. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys are new, I would like to invite you to subscribe and stick around and make sure you check out my party prep videos because I did a lot of work as you guys could maybe see from this video and I'm really proud of it. And I think that if you are gonna be throwing a frozen party, you can hopefully get a lot of ideas from my party preps. So thanks again for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. to the
the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.